Hello everybody, this is Matt Nelson of 911conspiracy.tv where I've listed almost all the cameras trained on the towers that day including 61 video angles and 40 photographers of the second plane. This video concerns the news helicopters in the sky. There were seven of them. This patch here doesn't list tail number N12NN for News 12 Long Island, which shot this footage. Top story, terrorism strikes the U.S. A hijacked plane flew into one of the World Trade Center towers in New York City this morning. I found three of the news helicopters on radar. We'll look at that later. First, I wanted to show you the NBC footage on archive.org. The building on three sides, it seems to be coming out on at least four or five floors. Is there it live? The air is filled with Sorry to make you watch it again. That occurred in the early 1990s. Have you seen any, any we can see the plane Elliot, of, of top, across the sky, out of the building, at, across the land. Emergency vehicles are there under cameras the wobbling, so, but of across course, some the water. Concern is human oh loss. The angle I mean, changes. Do you know if there were... I've listed 59 angles that missed the plane. There's some more famous than others. It's a natural response to be suspicious. I believe Bob and Bree cut that footage out because they wanted to spare the families who know people that were on the planes. ABC Newscopter, you might not know, actually missed the plane. Some people actually did cut frames from their video, uh, specifically Gideon Nade. And I'll tell you why he didn't. Just to mess with us. Don't take the bait. If you don't think a plane could go through the World Trade Center, I suggest you take a look at uh, this finite element analysis, which scientifically proves a plane could penetrate the wall. This was used in uh, litigation, so it's legally and scientifically proven by people who are qualified to do it, unlike you. Since NBC was aired live, it disproves, again, this no-plane theory proposed so deceptively by Ace Baker in his masterpiece of disinfo, The Great American Psy Opera. Only three 9-11 airplane videos are confirmed to have been shown live. Lie. ABC Chopper 7. Guys. This is an ABC Chopper 7. There were eight live videos. Stop listening to this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. He loves this footage here. Let me show you. This nose, he says, comes out the other side. It's not the same size. There's an explosion in front of it. Back to Ace Baker's disinfo here. Here we see his requirements for live video compositing. NBC defies these, which is why he did not include it as a live shot. Four of the news helicopters captured the plane on video. Not CBS. WB11 did. Let's look at their shot real fast.
they're flying from Teterboro Airport. You might wonder who that is. I'll tell you. It was a Russian pilot in a Cessna who saw the plane. Yuri was his name. WNYW Chopper 5 caught him also. Kai Simonson was flying. Here you can see where he says he saw the plane. And we can look at where he sees Yuri fly across the screen. Right there. Now let's look at the radar. Time is 8.58. Flight 175 is 3321 here. This is Chopper 5 coming from north in Caldwell, New Jersey to Essex County Airport. News Copper 7 will appear here. O three six one will become chopper five in a second. There it is. In here appearing new copter seven. You'll notice a private helicopter N eight seven BH right here. Coming from the thirtieth Street heliport. Looks like he was flying to the Newark airport. To get a better idea of what you're looking at, I've got the New York helicopter route chart. This is from 1988. I'm not sure exactly uh, how well it lines up, but you get the idea. Essex County Airport is here. Linden is here.